Good morning. Hello, good morning. Welcome back to another video. This is going to be a day in the life. It's going to be a vlog. Um, we are off to today. Hampton Court Palace. Hampton Court Palace. Um, somewhere we've never been. Never been before. Obviously, it's in London. Is it Kingston? I think it's Kingston. No, it's Richmond. Richmond? It's right Kingston. on the edge of Richmond near the... Because they're both boroughs, Kingston up on Thames. Yes, yeah, And right. Richmond up on Thames in London. To so Hampton Court Palace, the home of... Was the home. Was obviously was the home of King Henry VIII. There's a replica there also of um, King Henry VIII's crown. Um, obviously, we're going to look all around the palace. And we're the also going to do the world famous maze. It's apparently the most famous maze in the world. Yeah, apparently, Hampton Court Palace maze is the most famous maze in the world. So that's going to be fun and interesting. My mum was telling us all about the maze because she went when she was a little girl Six and she can miles still remember. Back from yeah, on Thames because that's we, right. I've, because we used to have relatives there. That's right. It's bright and early on a Saturday. It's quarter past seven. The palace opens at ten. Um, our journey is one hour and 49 minutes. But um, we, we will stop on the way. Yeah. Well, I thought I'd take you along with us to Hampton Court Palace. So, are you excited? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. So, change of plan. We actually are on the M1 at... Milton Keynes because the police incident is cleared just to give you a little update so yeah So we have arrived at Hampton Court Park, well the car park, which is about 10 minutes down the road from the palace. Um, and it's only, it's time, it's just gone 10 to 10. No. And the palace opens at 10, so traffic was okay, absolutely fine. Um, there was no one in the services, we were literally. Well there was a few Apart from people. the people that weren't there, apart from the people that weren't there, we were only, only there. <laughs> we were the only ones in there for about five minutes, weren't we? Had, cause 10 minutes. Services, yeah, services were so quiet. So we are here now, Yay. Um, and we are going to walk up to the palace. I'll show you as much of the palace as I possibly can. Obviously, I'll be able to vlog the maze, which I'm quite looking forward to. Um, not sure what I'll be able to vlog inside. I'm presuming I can vlog inside, but, but if not, it will be pictures. Um, but yeah, I'll show you as much as I can for those of you that have never been to Hampton Court Palace. I um, think you will, because if we went Buckingham Palace, obviously not up. Yeah, I think it'll be fine to vlog here, but, but I'll, I'll ask anyway. Yeah. It's always best to ask. But the reason we came is because Attica suggested coming because um, the year above. above you, year six, came here on a school trip, didn't they, a little while back? So um, Atticus wanted to come. So And I've seen it. Oh, and I've never been? I've never been. No, never been. So let's go to Hampton Court Alice. Alice. God, look, it's amazing. Look, well, we sun's come out. The we have to keep them. We've got our maps. We've got one each. Atticus just had a photo with the. He's not a beef eater, though, is he? No. No. He's a. Guard. A guard. Atticus just had his photo set with a guard over there. Oh, look at it. Wow. So we're going into 
Henry VIII. Kitchens first. Kitchens. Kitchens. More than one kitchen. Lead the way, Atticus. Is it real? No, it's not real. Is it? No, it's not real. This is how it would have been. So look, these are the meats I used to have. Beef, veal, mutton, deer, This was the boiling house, Atticus, it says, look. They used to boil large joints of beef and mutton in the boiling pot. So this was the boiling pot where in the mornings they'd boil the big, um, yeah. the, all the meat yeah. that we just saw on the poster. So that was the great big boiling yeah. pot. Wow. master cook was called John Dale. The meat must be good and sweet. Look, the kitchens and galleries had to be cleaned twice a day so there was no dirt. Wood for the ovens. The ovens, look. Oh my god, Atticus, look. Wow. Did you hear that? Usually the no. I know, I was just looking at that. Just preparing some food, look. Putting it all in the pot, look. There you go, look. Prepared that, putting it in the pot. There you go. Yeah. All the aprons, look. Look all the wood, look. yeah, all the aprons. It's the table, Atticus. Oh. oh, look, Atticus, this is where the maids, the servants, children, porters, and the, so the people that worked for him would sit and have their dinner. Look, there's the washing up room. Oh my god, it smells a bit. Yeah, yeah, look, yeah, 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 I can, yeah. Look, look why they kept all the beer, ale. Oh my God, he lived good. Henry VIII lived good. Look, wow. Where are we, Atticus? We're in the Elizabeth I. Private kitchen. Private kitchen. Yeah. Having I'm a just, drink. I was just saying, Henry VIII was quite the king. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
he did. He liked his food very much. He also liked to behead his wife. Two of his wives. Two of his wives. He had beheaded 72,000 people in his life. <gasps> no. He didn't. 72. But they reckon it was because he fell off his horse. Oh, that's it. Yeah, he there's a little bit of, yeah, that he was fell true. Off his when he was married to Anne Boleyn. That's Anne Boleyn. right. Yeah, that's it. He was telling me. They think the reason, maybe, why um, he beheaded so many people, and obviously he was quite a barbaric man, he fell off his, he fell off his horse. Is that right? When he was married to Anne Boleyn. When he was married to Anne Boleyn. Obviously, he hit his head. That done something to his brain, damaged his brain in some way, and then he became this man that liked to kill thousands of people. But before that point, how many people had he beheaded? I don't think any. No, he hadn't beheaded any until he fell off that horse. So I think that obviously done something to his brain. There you go. This is William III's private garden. Look. How exquisite. <laughs> wow. <coughs> so Atticus tells me, because I didn't know, this is Charles I. Lost his head, did he? Did Henry VIII behead him? No, no. Charles I anyway. <laughs> Atticus has chose his obligatory teddy. It's classic to get a guidebook on the bear. Yeah. You're going to buy me the bear, you say. And you're going to buy the guidebook. Guide Let's have a look at him, Atticus. He's nice. He oh, he's cute. Hampton Court, Hampton Court Palace. So where are we going to go after the shop? We're going to go to Henry's apartments and then outside in the gardens. Atticus, have you seen the horrible history books? What ones? <laughs> Look, horrible histories. Sticker book. And now we're going to Henry VIII's apartments. But where Henry and whoever he was married to at the time used to sit. So and they're real thrones. Yeah, so they'd sit here and eat. Uh, they're actual thrones. I don't know if they were the actual ones, but they'd sit there and eat. 
Yeah. Look, and then everyone else will be eating. Look. I know, yeah. Around there. This is where Henry the Eighth and Catherine Parr got married in here on the 12th of July, 1543. Wow. Yeah, that was his last wife. was Henry VIII's apartment, how good was that? We actually got to go in the Chapel Royal because the gate... Yeah, we actually the went in the... Um, Chapel Royal because where... If you can only go on it, you can only go in the bit where... You, it's a bit like down below, you can only go on in on a Sunday, but we went on the bit of the top where Henry VIII and we saw his crown. Yeah, his it was lovely. There was no videos or photography allowed in there, but we actually went into... We saw the replica of his crown and we actually like stood in the exact spot where Henry VIII actually stood in the chapel, so that was pretty cool. We'd have seen, we had fun in the dining hall, we sat in the um, the chairs where Henry and his wife, whoever his current wife, wife was at the time, um, would sit while um, having their feast. So it is now, oh my God, it is one o'clock, we've been actually inside the palace for three hours. So we are gonna pop back to the cafe, we are gonna get a snack, get lots of water, and then we're gonna do the gardens, aren't we, Ask us. Yeah. Should we do the gardens and the maze? Yeah. And the sun's come out, look at that. So we've come in the cafe. I have got a tuna and cucumber sandwich with all the stuff on the side, a packet of crisps and a latte. Atticus has got cheese and ham sandwich with a packet of cheese and onion crisps, and I've got a bottle of water and ice cream. Is your sandwich good? We are currently in, didn't want to vlog out in the playground bit because there's loads of kids, but we're in the magic garden area and it's so good. You get like a wristband and then they have like about an hour in here. So we are going up here. Oh my God, it's tiny. Then we are going to walk. Oh, to your left, Atticus. Then we're going to walk all along, look. And this is basically, I'll give you a quick overview. It's the magic garden for the children. Lovely. Go on then, ask us. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, then you've got the slide. Quite high up. We are. We're, quite, we're at this little turret now. Look. look and you can see the are. palace all over there. Look, look how tall we actually are. There's the vegetable look. garden. Look, look how we're at the Yeah, I know. Is the castle. Yeah, we are. Oh, look down there. So cool. We are now going to go in the, the world famous maze, Hampton Court Palace maze. I'm looking forward to this. Are you, Atticus? Yeah. It is so, I'll tell you what, Hampton Court Palace, if you've never been, it is so lovely for a day out. Um, loads of things for children. Yeah. Um, you've enjoyed it, haven't you, Atticus? Yeah. Absolutely loved it, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. So now the maze. How long is it going to take us to get out of the maze? literally see the middle 
We can see the middle. Is it Atticus? Is it there? Atticus got it. What? <laughs> Genuinely, we can't get to the middle. There was a situation, the mum's in the middle with one of the kids and the dad was trying to get back in the middle to meet them and he's actually lost and he can't get back in the middle. <sighs> Maybe we're just not going to get to the middle. Maybe we're not. Is this the middle? We're in the middle. We done it! Yes! We are on our way back to the car. Verdict on um, Hampton Palace. Hampton Court Palace. Hampton Court Palace. It is so good for a day out. 10 out of 10. A solid 10 out of 10. Can't recommend it enough. Atticus has absolutely enjoyed it. I was the one that said we should go. You were, you were the one that said to come. Really, really good. Um, well worth the money. Once you pay the ticket price, everything's included. You so have that's to pay the, the congestion charge. Oh yeah, I've got to pay the um, congestion charge. And if you have an older vehicle, you have to pay the... Um, yeah, if you've got an older vehicle, you've got to pay the... Emission. emission. Low emission bit. Um, but yes. It was really, really good. Um, now, what was I going to say? One thing I will say, if you do come very quickly before this battery goes off, one thing I will say, if you come, you need a whole day here. Yeah. I mean, it's something to four now, Palace shirts at four. We've been here since ten. Yeah. Um, and there were still a couple of bits we didn't see, wasn't there? Well, we're going to come back. But we'll come back again. Um, but you do need, I think you need a solid full day. So we are quickly going to say bye. Hope you've enjoyed Hope coming yeah. to Hampton Court Palace with us for the day. Yeah. And we will see you very soon for another video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>